Neuroscientists have spent the past hundred odd years trying to map out the human brain. And while they're pretty confident what kind of thinking and behaviors different regions of the brain are responsible for, figuring out what each specific neuron does is still a thick, cloudy mystery. In order to break through this resolution barrier, a team at Stanford has been experimenting with optogenetics, a form of genetic manipulation that allows them to trigger individual neurons with a precise beam of light instead of a clunky, imprecise jolt of electricity. With optogenics, the power is that you can study a particular wire connection in the brain in isolation and say, what is that, that one connection in this huge mass of tangled wires? What is that one connection doing? So dopamine neurons are one of those connections. They're really important for reward and movement and learning. Uh, they certainly are part of the story with uh, understanding how addiction affects the brain. He's a transgenic mouse, and so he's had a surgery that makes his dopamine neurons sensitive to light. And then I implanted a little fiber optic cannula, and that's what you see sticking out of his head. So the, the white stuff is just yeah. some glue. Yeah. And then we can plug in a cable, and at the end of that cable are the dopamine neurons. Now, when we shine the light in, it'll turn on his dopamine neurons. And now we're gonna let him decide whether he wants to turn those on or not. So what does the mouse do? So there are two holes in the side of the chamber. Yeah. If he pokes his nose in the left one, nothing uh -huh. happens, and so that's our control. But if he pokes his nose in the right one, he'll get two seconds of dopamine neuron stimulation. So he just made one response, and you can see the light. Oh, there it went. Zinc, now he's doing it again, and again, and again. Oh yeah. <laughs> dopamine neurons are activated by basically all drugs of abuse, and so this is similar to what would happen if you were trying a hit of cocaine for the first time, is you get a flood of dopamine in your brain, and that seems to be pretty critical for kind of beginning this progression towards addiction. He has just got his nose in that thing. Yeah, this isn't a bad experiment to get drafted into. The most I've seen in an experiment is 18,000 in an hour. Wow. So at that point, they're kind of they're basically sick. not doing yeah. anything other than activating right. their neurons. This is part of what tells us that dopamine neurons are important for, for giving you motivation. Optogenetics lets us tease apart that level of complexity too. We can say this one input coming into this, these dopamine neurons, how does that affect their activity? What does the animal do when we turn on that input or turn off that input? Well, and so it's, a, it's kind, kind of like mapping the, uh, the pleasure centers or the, or the reward center. Yeah, but optogenetics, you can, you can target more specifically and just pick one set of cells and not the other, even if they're right next to each other. So that's, that's the neat trick, and, and it really has changed the way we do neuroscience research.